Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about hypothesis. A hypothesis is a testable relationship between two or more than two variables. Generally, the independent variable and the dependent variable. With respect to the definition, a hypothesis is a testable statement which means that it displays the relationship between those variables which are measurable or potentially measurable. Next, a hypothesis exhibits either a general or specific relationship between variables. According to Russell and Reisenbach, the hypothesis should be stated in the logical form on the general implications. A hypothesis can be put in the form of a statement. If A is true, then B should follow. For example, verbal development theory of amnesia states that childhood amnesia is caused by the development of language. Let us take a look at some of the types of research hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis states that there is a relationship between the two variables being studied, which means one variable has an effect on the other. It states that the results are not due to chance and that they are significant in terms of supporting the theory being investigated. The null hypothesis states that there is no relationship between the two variables being studied, which means one variable does not affect the other. Null hypothesis is a useful tool in testing the significance of difference. Traditionally, null hypothesis stated that there is zero relationship between the terms of the hypothesis. A two-tailed non-directional hypothesis predicts that the independent variable will have an effect on the dependent variable but the direction of the effect is not specified. For example, there will be a difference in how many numbers are correctly recalled by children and adults. A one-tailed directional hypothesis predicts the nature of the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. For example, adults will correctly recall more words than children. To answer the question, can a hypothesis be proven? It depends upon the analysis of the results and alternative hypothesis can be rejected or supported but it can never be proven to be correct. We must avoid any reference to results proving a theory. This implies 100% certainty and there is always a chance that evidence may exist which could refute a theory. Let us take an example of how this works. Let us consider a hypothesis that many teachers would agree to. Students work better on Monday morning than they do on a Friday afternoon. Here, the independent variable is the day and the dependent variable is the standard of work. The alternative hypothesis states that students will recall significantly more information on Monday morning than on a Friday afternoon. The null hypothesis states that there will be no significant difference in the amount recalled on a Monday morning compared to a Friday afternoon. Any difference will be due to chance or confounding factors. The null hypothesis is therefore the opposite of the alternative hypothesis in that it states that there will be no change in behavior. However, we can never 100% prove the alternative hypothesis. What we do instead is see if we can disprove or reject the null hypothesis. If we reject the null hypothesis, that doesn't mean that alternative hypothesis is correct. 
but it does provide support for the alternative or experimental hypothesis. I hope you like this video. Please share this videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.